another video I just finished installing everything back on the box now the only thing I got left is putting the pinstripe on I'm gonna put a pinstripe along the sides also the side molding and the front and back bumper also getting new molding because this one here is broke off and cracked up so we're gonna do that in this video over here so let me get the molding together and the pinstripes and I'll show you what color I'm going with it's gonna match the top here we go. This will start off with the motor, the side motor. I just gotta cut it the size and just a pin strike. And here's the bumper motor. Just the front. How you can tell the front got that little offset there. Back straight. I guess we'll start putting the back bumper molding on, taking this old one off. It got on the back, it got uh, let me see how many nuts on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight nuts along the back of the bumper so i'm gonna have to get up on that and remove those to get the old one off but the front it ain't got nothing but uh look like it's four four on the front two on each side Finally got the front and the back impact strip removed. On the back, it was a lot harder getting it back off than this front. The front came off pretty easy for us the nuts. The original impact strip got more nuts than the, the aftermarket one that I got. But the back, let me show you. See this back one? I had to cut this nut here off. But there it go. I had talked to the owner. He wanted me to leave these here off because he don't got the impact strip to go on them. He said if you find some, he'll just put them on himself. So, so we're going to leave those off. Because this uh, aftermarket one, it got a spot where you can cut this hole out and install it. But we're gonna clean this on up here. I got, got me some soap and water. Clean the front of the back up before we install the new one. Also, it's some paint here that I'm gonna, I think I'll get a razor blade or something, try to get that paint off. That's from the previous painter. I don't see nothing on this side. Got it cleaned up now we're getting ready to install the impact strip one of my clips that came off but they'll go right back on once you put it on it'll hold it in place because it's going to push it down keep it in place all right let's go ahead and install it i grabbed six nuts we're going to put these down to the side over here but this is what we're going to need We're gonna snap it in place first. We're gonna line everything up.
I think I got it. Yeah, I got the wrong end. This side here go on that side. Cause you can see these holes here is a lot higher than these holes. I was just trying to go by the Made in China, but I gotta flip it around. Everything should line up well now. And you can see it's pretty much in place. I just gotta put the nuts on. It'll tighten it on up. I'm gonna put the end was on first. Not first, but last. Cause I'm gonna make sure this tight. Then I pull that on tight around. Then I should be good. six nuts it's lesser than the original one but it should be self-explanatory on this front because we got this offset Pretty simple. Then we'll crawl up under it, tighten it up. to this here. Now let me take you to the back. I also been doing a little touch up on the buffing before I put the pinstripes and the molding down. I was gonna do that video where put the pinstripes and the molding down with this video. But this video been long enough, so we gonna cut this one off and do that in a later video. But here goes the back. Stop right from the bottom to the top from the 